in more than 30 years of operating in space, despite sending back tons of incredible photos, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has repeatedly encountered failures. This situation gets worse as Hubble ages and NASA's budget for repairing it becomes increasingly limited. I know many of you are Hubble fans, but it's time to admit that Hubble must return to Earth soon to be put in a museum. And then let the new technology spring forth. Yeah, that's where SpaceX Starship comes in with its ambitious goal of transforming into a giant telescope to replace NASA Hubble. But is it feasible? What would astronomers think about this idea? Stay tuned and discuss everything in today's episode of TechMap. In the video, NASA reveals genius solution to save Hubble telescope. I mentioned that NASA planned to use the Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft to reboost NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. And I'm glad that the video got a lot of attention from the space community. By the way, thank all of you so much for that. And it's interesting to look down at the comments section. Many people have given their brilliant solutions to solve the problem. Hopefully, both NASA and SpaceX will read it all. Among them, several comments referred to Starship as a useful alternative for Falcon 9 to save Hubble. Honestly, the idea to use Starship to serve those astronomical missions is what Elon Musk came up with three years ago. In a tweet posted in July 2021, SpaceX's CEO suggested that the ship itself could serve as the structure for a new giant telescope, with 10 times the resolution of NASA's Hubble, an indication that the billionaire still has plenty of big ideas left for the company's spacecraft. The idea of turning a Starship spacecraft into a massive space telescope was first suggested to him by Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory astrophysicist Saul Perlmutter. With Starship's 9 meters of diameter, it could accommodate a range of telescope designs, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, which could fit inside without having to fold up its 6.5 meter wide mirror. A huge rocket like Starship is capable of launching a thicker and heavier telescope's mirrors, meaning they would be easier to manufacture and polish. In addition, spacecraft designers can add larger solar panels for additional power, which allows the spacecraft to use cheaper electronics with more redundancy. Referring to the price aspect, it's unclear what the price of a Starship launch might be in the 2030s or 2040s, but it will probably be a peanut of the overall cost of a multi-billion dollar observatory. However, in order to send any telescopes into deep space toward the L2 Lagrange point, where they would observe the universe far away from interference from Earth, Starship would need to be refueled in orbit. This could contaminate a telescope's sensitive mirrors. Or even the telescope could be at risk of damage caused by extreme temperature swings within the time of waiting for its Starship transport to be refueled. Clearly, SpaceX will consider this possibility, but in advance, they need to demonstrate Starship's in-orbit propellant transfer in the upcoming Flight 3 and Artemis 3. Once they master this technique, SpaceX can go further with the astronomical missions. Elon's news came after NASA's aging Hubble Space Telescope had to put its scientific investigations on pause in June 2021 due to a software glitch. According to NASA, the Hubble Space Telescope experienced an issue with its payload computer, forcing scientific operations to grind to a halt into safe mode. It's basically like your laptop. When it gets too old, the failure is off the table. Hubble started with a lifespan of 15 years old. As of 2021, it's 31 years old. Imagine what if you used a laptop for such a long time you will immediately throw it away and go to a shop to buy a new one, right? But Hubble is totally different. Its mission has been a huge success. It was designed and placed in orbit 10 years before the first iPhone was sold. Since its launch, the world's premier visible light space observatory has been sending back to Earth jaw-dropping images. Furthermore, the mission has gathered dozens of terabytes of data over the decades, providing key insights into the universe, from objects as close as the moon to the most remote galaxies, with observations of supernovas and nebulas in between. 
Thus, NASA always wants to expand Hubble's lifetime as long as possible. To do that, scientists at the agency switched to a backup memory module and allowed the computer to run for a day to make sure the issue was resolved. After one month of resolving, finally, NASA has returned the science instruments on the Hubble Space Telescope, and two days later, Hubble delivered new images since it started up again. However, NASA's solution at that time was only temporary because, in fact, the Hubble incident occurred again in 2023. I discussed this matter in the previous video. You can watch it for reference. For that reason, it made sense when Musk gave the idea of using Starship as a structure for the new giant telescope to replace the Hubble Space Telescope, which is nearing retirement age. Next, before continuing, if you found this information useful, let's subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. And now, let's go back to today's episode. Talking about Musk's concept, astronomers also agreed and emphasized that new telescopes should take advantage of the Starship paradigm. Last year, a panel of three astronomers told the National Academy's Committee on Astronomy and Astrophysics that Starship could be used to launch the giant telescope, a follow-on to the James Webb Space Telescope, for example. This would unshackle the mission from onerous mass and volume constraints, which typically drive up complexity and cost. Three astronomers include Charles Lawrence, the chief scientist for astronomy and physics at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Martin Elvis, an astronomer at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, and Sarah Seeger, an astrophysicist and planetary scientist at MIT. The availability of greater mass and volume capability at lower cost enlarges the design space, said Charles Lawrence. We want to take advantage of that. Their proposal might be based on previous research into the applicable potential of large rockets like Starship and Astronomy. In 2021, a roadmap was laid out for NASA to spend the bulk of the 2020s developing technologies and designs for the next series of great observatories that will follow the likes of Hubble, Chandra, James Webb, and the Roman Space Telescope scheduled for launch in 2027. Development of these new telescopes will likely begin later this decade. This should be started with a large telescope called the Habitable Worlds Observatory, which would be comparable in size to Webb with a primary mirror around 6 meters, 20 feet across, and a coronagraph or a star shade to blot out starlight, enabling direct observations of planets around other stars or exoplanets. This is a capability not available on Webb. Later, NASA should launch similarly ambitious fair infrared and X-ray telescopes to study the formation of stars, black holes, and galaxies, scientists recommended in 2021. However, new multi-billion dollar missions wouldn't start launching until the 2040s due to the limitations in budget and technology. Fortunately, scientists found that the arrival of big new rockets could lower some of these technological hurdles helping to simplify designs, reducing costs, and perhaps shortening the time needed to develop and build the next great observatories. Maybe they don't have to wait until the 2040s to launch. What we have found is that with Starship, you really have a lot of flexibility, Lee Feinberg, Webb's optics manager and a co-chair of the technical assessment group studying the Habitable Worlds Observatory said. If the biggest concern right now about Starship is that it remains developing and we have no idea when it will be reliable, keep in mind that SpaceX has run around the clock to make the rocket operational as soon as possible. Their progress is no kidding. Have you ever thought that they are manufacturing Starship's third version? Meanwhile, just two months ago, we knew that the first version went to an end and the second one came next. Anyway. It's great to see the collaboration between the private space companies with the national agency under the astronomical projects. This could result in significant cost savings for Congress and help modern astronomy advance even further. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates.
Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high-quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.